Hi there, uh, today I'm going to have a go at making an LED light for the mini mill. Well I'm sort of making this up as I go along. Uh, this is um, an LED light for a car and the um, outside diameter is 70 millimeters and the inside diameter is 60 millimeters. And I've got three pieces of perspex here which I've turned on the mini lathe. Um, I bolted them all together and uh, just turned them to that diameter which is about 80 or just under 80 millimeters and um, two of these pieces are opaque and there's one transparent piece okay so the idea I've got in mind here is to uh, make a, a large hole in each of these. Um, I might use this as a spacer, I'm not too sure, or that might just be waste. And uh, I'll stick them all together to assemble a light. And the idea being sort of like creating a donut, and then that will fit over the spindle of the mini mill. Um, so I need to give it a bit more thought, and uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, so what I've decided to do is to um, stick these together using some epoxy resin so it'll give me double the thickness. So I'll leave that overnight to set. Once it's set, I'm going to put that on the mill and create a groove round the inside. Half the depth for that ring to sit inside. And once I've done that, I'll put this to one side, I'll put this on top, bolt them together, and now I'll mill out the big hole to go over the spindle. So the light ring is um, about 5mm wide, so I've got a 6mm end mill in here. Um, so the idea is I'm going to cut a groove right around here uh, using the rotary table and um, I'll go down by about three millimeters. Well I've gone to a depth of two and a half millimetres and I think that'll be enough. So just underneath the wires um, there's a bit of solder. So I've um, cut a little bit more of a recess in there and cut a little groove out there for the wires to come out the side. And that seems to fit pretty well. Okay I've had a slight rethink in terms of my approach and what I've decided to do is to super glue the cover, the transparent cover on now and put a bolt through and then I'm going to put it on the mini mill and cut out the centre which will be about that diameter. So this is the ring that um, fits around the spindle and protects the bearing. Now I'm going to leave that intact so I'm not replacing that um, but what I need to do is to make a hole in the light which is roughly the same diameter as that. Well that's worked out pretty well. Um, so what I'm going to do now is where these holes are for these cap head screws I'm going to mark through from the bottom and then on the mark I'm going to place um, in each of the positions a rare earth magnet and that will mean so I'll stick this rare earth magnet on here with some super glue and that means that I'll be able to place it there and it will attach when it's around the spindle and I'll be able to just take it off and be able to reposition it somewhere else on the mill if, if I need to. 
so it'll attach to any magnetic surface. So those are the magnets connected and the idea will be once this is screwed around the spindle again these magnets will just um, go on top of the um, bolts Oops. obviously they're not in place at the moment but Like that. So in terms of power, uh, I'm going to use something like this, um, a little transformer, and uh, this this outputs a variable uh, DC voltage, um, so I can set it to 12 volts, which uh, this is what uh, the light is rated at. So if I um, plug this in. switch it on and connect up you can see that's an extremely bright light so I'll put a prop connector on it attach it to the machine and let's see what it looks like well I must say that's worked out an absolute treat I must say I'm very happy with that. It offers really good uniform light. And if I ever need to, I can easily detach it from around the spindle. And I can oh, attach it to the rear of the spindle. Because that's metal there. Easy to reattach. Very happy. Well I must say at times I've really struggled with uh, lighting on the mill um, but this is a fantastic improvement, such uniform light, I'm extremely happy with it. Um, and for the price, I think the uh, ring lights for a pair were about £7 from uh, Banggood. Um, and the little transformers you can get for around about £4 or £5 pound on eBay. Uh, so all in all, uh, a really cheap solution. And uh, a solution I'll use uh, a lot in the future, certainly. Um, anyway, I uh, hope you like the video and um, hope to see you later. Hi there. Um, in using the light in anger, I found there was a, a bit of a problem where the light uh, just slightly obscured the hole in the spindle where this uh, pin goes to uh, unlock your uh, the, the R8 tools, etc. So, um, what I had to do is just to countersink um, the magnets very slightly um, and that's now given clearance for this to uh, go into the spindle.